Hi guys, welcome to My Crazy Dog World. Um, I'm trying to, you know, mix it up a little bit. But today we have some crazy news. Because uh, we have all new Rainbow High news for 2023. So let's get right into it. So first up, we're going to start off with the not-so-interesting stuff. So we have a news celebration series to collect your doll this could be another dia de los muertos doll or it could be a lunar new year doll we don't really know but you know i'm i'm, I'm just kind of annoyed that mj keeps releasing a hundred dollar dolls that don't give you reasons to pay a hundred dollars for one singular doll that is likely about the same quality as the average basic wave rainbow high doll Next up, we have Series 5. Isn't that lovely? So, it's rumored that the boxes will be slimmer, so possibly no second outfits. This is unconfirmed. And if we don't get second outfits, that's going to be really unfortunate. And they're truly going to have to make sure that the designs are top-notch. Because if we're only getting one outfit, like Pacific Coast then you can't be relying on people buying every single doll because some people like the doll's base and then they like their second outfits more. So they put them in the second outfits. But you can't. But yet now you have to rely mainly on that one design as the selling point. Like, you can't rely on the two outfits, so... That's unfortunate. Um, next up, we have a prom line, which sounds cool. Um, could include Shadow High characters. This is unconfirmed. Um, of course, as in with oh, every single Rainbow High line. Six characters in each line. Um, there could be an, a boy in any of these lines. We don't know, though. I honestly hope there's a boy in the prom line, because that would be quite weird not to have a boy. Because, like, it's the prom. You want a boy there. Durr, durr. I think my water bottle leaked. Yes, it did. Lovely. I'm gonna have a wet blanket tonight. Um. So yeah, um, prom sounds fun. Um, I'm hoping we get some really um campy, super fun, cool, formal looks that aren't like cheap looking for some people. Because I know that for some people that they, they thought that the Rainbow Vision Disco Divas were had cheap looking dresses. That's not me though. I think they look really nice, very deluxe. And that's not me kissing M MG's ass. Because if I were, I'd be like, oh my god, the shoes and the bags from those accessory packs are so worth it. Like, no, they're not. I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna buy a few... Like, every once in a while. But I'm not going to buy them, like, excessively. I'm just going to buy them when I have the money. If I feel like it. And, um... If I feel like I'm going to be able to find a certain shoe or bag in a box. But, yeah, I feel like $34 is more worth it than this. <laughs> I mean, $34 being more worth, the dolls being $34, $34 is more worth it than the shoes and the bags. Next up, we have Junior High Series 3, which is actually something that I'm excited for. I'm not excited for that price, though. Why are they the same price as Series 3? Holy crap, dolls are getting expensive. I, 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 should I consider stop collecting Rainbow High dolls and only get the dolls I absolutely want? Or should I just keep collecting small-mindedly and only pay up to like 50 to 60 bucks for a doll? And then any doll that's like 100 bucks, do not buy. Do not buy. Should I just do that? Um, anyways, we have Kaya Heart, which... I was, I thought we were, ne we were never going to get these characters, junior high versions. So I'm so joyful that we are getting Kaya, 
as a junior high doll. You don't know how much I love Kaya. My Kaya is in shit condition, which is why I want another one of her to have one that's in pristine condition and just never touch her hair. And then Avery, they better do her better than the shit that they gave her in um in the original wave, in the original doll. And the twins, let's just hope that these twins will sell better than the originals. And then we have a Maya. I don't know why we're getting another Maya. I guess it's the same reason that they did it for the original Maya. And then um, we're getting Crystal. Why not a different character that is also in the, the universe? Like, why not get a Jet? Like, I'm not against getting another Crystal, because Crystal's amazing. Don't get me wrong. But, like... We want to expand the line to have more characters. Like, that's what I would like if they did more characters. But I, but one thing I do have to appreciate about this seri series of Junior High Dolls is that it's definitely much more random bunch of characters. So it feels more like a... Um, so it doesn't feel so strange. Like, it doesn't feel so stuck... And, like, we're getting the original dolls, the original line, just new outfits and stuff with new hair. Like, it feels like we're getting an entirely new line. And then we're also getting fashion packs. Ten bucks! Surprise packaging, hanger, and garment bag. 24 surprise outfits. So we're getting an OMG, and what is essentially... A piece that you get with an OMG doll for eleven ninety nine. There might be a few pieces that I might like that I might make me consider buying at least like one or two. But only on special occasions. I swear Rainbow High is getting really greedy lately. Rain MG is getting really, really greedy lately. I'm just going to say that. They're getting really greedy. And I'm really considering going to what, what MG would consider the dark side. Yes, I mean going to Mattel because at least their dolls are a hell of a lot cheaper. Like, good God. Ten bucks for a fashion pack? Like, there is no way that ten bucks of a Rainbow High doll goes... Is, is worth the fashion. Same thing with the shoes. There is no way that ten bucks is for a, sh a pair of shoes. There is also no way that there are ten bucks going into a bag. So like, good God. Again, I am really considering going to Mattel and shopping from them mainly. Because they are... Rainbow High is getting expensive. Or who knows, maybe I might just buy ev only the basic waves from now on. And e just try to get one of every character. And then only buy extras of characters that I absolutely adore. Like Jade... Or Miss Puerto Rican, also known as Jewel Richie. Yes, I'm making a theme song for her. Hey, someone make a theme song for her. And then link it in the comments. And then I'll watch it. And then basically, I will give you a shout out. I, w I, I will collab together. We will do stuff. We will, we will make videos together. <laughs> I'm insane. If that wasn't obvious already, I'm insane. This has gotten very ranty, but, you know, whatever. So here are my final thoughts. Um, I like the prom line. Um, series 1, e Series 5, of course, we're going to get another series. What do you think? Rainbow High was just going to die off? <laughs> Obviously not, at this rate. Um, yeah. And then the prom line, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in it. 
And then junior high, cool, but why are we getting re-released characters? Like, that's, that just seems very odd to me. You can tell me why you think they are doing it in the comments down below if you would like. Um, but remember, you're free to do whatever the hell you want. You can be rude in the comments. You can do whatever the hell you want. But just know if you're rude, I'm coming for you. I will find you. And I will let you know the truth about your family is that they're all yeah. The fashion packs look very expensive and um you know what are you gonna expect? MJ is greedy as all hell. Um but I'm interested to see what they'll offer when it comes to clothes. And then um Junior high, I'm excited for Kaya. Um, hopefully, they'll do AV better. And then the twins. I'm interested to get another pair of twins because I love the twins. Um, anyways, tell me what y'all think of the comments down below. If y'all want to. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Bye.